Welcome to Unconfuse Me. I'm Bill Gates. And one thing I always underestimated is how valuable it is for most students to have kind of a social experience. How do you create a conceptually rich but socially uh, engaging way of talking about these math things? No, 100%. Some of my best memories are sitting with friends and working on a particularly hard problem and somebody has an epiphany. And so, yeah, the more that we can try to replicate those things, the more that, you know, the model we use is it's a tutor for every student and it could be a teaching assistant or an army of teaching assistants for every teacher. And I think in every teacher on the planet would love to have one, two, three amazing teaching assistants in that classroom that say, hey, let's facilitate these breakouts. Let's do focused interventions with different students. Let's make them explain the, the math to each other. One challenge we've always had is that when we bring new technology into the classroom, if we don't do it well, the teacher feels like, oh, you're trying to denigrate my creativity or freedom, or you're, you know, you're suggesting I, <laughs> I'm not capable on my own. And yet, you know, we all know teachers are heroic, one of the most important, hardest jobs in the world. So do you feel like we're doing better drawing both their input and, and showing that, okay, they are, a hundred percent at the the center of the the best solution. Yeah, and and look, I, I think I think not only is this about like making sure that everyone understands their critical role, but it's also that one of the reasons why you have such a high attrition in, in the profession. I mean, you know, we could talk about pay and compensation, all of that, but I think the biggest thing is it can be a very lonely and a very tiring job. I mean, most of us with quote desk jobs, <laughs> you know, like we don't have to be on continuously. Yes. Uh, but if you're with, a teacher, nobody's trying to disrupt. <laughs> no one's trying to disrupt or like you know chewing gum or looking at you. I, I mean, it, it it is, and and even when we're presenting, we're usually presenting to people who at least pretend to be interested. Right? Like you, they're told to be yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They got the memo. While you know, in a classroom, the kids aren't always giving you their most attentive look, and that is so draining energy wise. And so, you know, we imagine the classroom of the future and, and a lot of teachers are already doing this is, yeah, make it, make the students do most of the things most of the time. And that the teacher <laughs> is, is the, is the architect, is the conductor of what's going on. And, you know, I don't think anyone in an orchestra would think that the conductor is not an important role. The conductor is making sure that the orchestra is happening together and, and that everything is, is fitting together, that it's controlled chaos. And then I think everyone benefits. The, kid, the, the kids have more fun, they learn more, and, and then the teachers have more, more fun. Instead of one teacher with 30, you should have two teachers with 60 and, or three teachers huh. with 90 so that they also feel less lonely, which you can start to do if you take the lecture out of the classroom. Subscribe to Unconfuse Me wherever you listen to podcasts.